Good morning. Happy Wednesday, October 16th. A big happy birthday to my awesome mom. Love you, mom. We have three Canada geese. Not a huge group, but hey, it's Canada geese nonetheless. Unfortunately, I cannot be out on the field because it's a school day. And they're just busy foraging. And we will leave them to it. Good morning there. Wednesday, October 16th. This one's on the fence and we believe it's made up on the tree. Okay. First bird went off across the street, second bird went on the other side of the fence where we can't really see. We'll hang out for a moment, see if one of them returns quick. Okay, went over. Okay, we have a red tail hawk on lamp pole, lamp stand, light standard behind the church. to get a slightly clearer picture but that's as clear as it's going to be we don't have uh, we have overcast skies this morning so we don't have the sun to the hunting tree to the hunting tree Stop. they're up okay get his way towards the top uh, Stop short at the top. We were just lamenting that we hadn't seen any raptors here on the hillside and that the three Canada geese and the blue jays were going to be all that we would have bird wise today. But he just changed that for us. How quickly it changes. Just went to the ground. Maybe hunting. I can see him. It's a bush. There we go. 
line again. Back to the tree. Do you see him? Because I don't. Yeah, he's still on the tree. Where? Same Left. spot. Where? Do I have do I have the fray? Yes. Okay. Oh, the sun is coming up finally. Yay. That'll help. Not right away because it's gonna be in my eyes, but or I should say it's up there but the clouds were covering. We're overcasting it, so Definitely say that this uh, red tail hawk is hunting for breakfast and so far hasn't gotten it. So he may go back down to the ground again. Stop, don't do that, don't blur. Okay, Kathy handed the camera over to me. I'm in a slightly different position, standing up on a wall. With the sun slightly burning through the clouds, we've got kind of a silhouetted, semi-illuminated effect on the red tail hawk. If it does take off and go to the hillside, then from where I am, I'm not going to be able to follow it very much. There it goes, going away from the hillside. Okay, let me move down. It's going to cross on top of Calvary Assembly Church. There it cleared up. Murder bird at the church. <laughs> On a return trip up in the ginkgo tree had what appeared to be a rather anxious blue jay waiting. So Kathy decided to put peanuts down. Gone into the brush behind the fence. One coming from the bush on the other side of the fence. He's on the, there we go. And I think that's all we're going to get of him. Well, maybe not. Maybe he went to hide that one. Oh, another jay across the street. See if it comes over. It did. It landed up high in the ginkgo. Down to the brush behind the fence. We'll see if it comes over. We can hear it, we can see it moving the brush around, back up to the ginkgo, way up there, way up, it's really only about 20 feet.
healthy looking jay, obviously successful feeder. Let's see if it comes down. Back down to the brush. It's right up in there. You just can't see it. Working its way out. Okay, I'm going to stay locked on the peanuts. Here he goes. God. Okay. Turn trip. We have more Canada geese. Probably at least a dozen. No, I'm not going to count them. So we have the original three, and more came along. And we also have Kitty Cat watching the geese. Well, grooming right now, but come on, clear up. Clear up. Low battery signal has just shown up, and so I guess that's a good indication that it's time to end this walk video for today. Okay, we got some crows going after the peanuts that we put down. He's trying to get two. He got two. Bless his little heart. 